Let me tell you something. I can already tell you out of the last few palettes that I've tried that this is one of my favorite palettes. I have used this so many times off camera prior to filming this video. Mm, yes, they did their thing with this. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. This is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. And as you just saw, we are playing with the Croc Palette by Clarity Cosmetics. And I have three looks for you. But let me go ahead and introduce myself. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're old and goody, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. But please just call me Ash or Ashley. And eyeshadow is my jam. It is one of my most favorite things to talk about on my channel. Mm, yes. Okay. So Clarity Cosmetics released the Croc palette and they kind of like hinted at this and was like, okay, this is going to be available for Black Friday. So this is actually a Black Friday purchase and it consists of this just, I mean, beautiful, grungy, green, taupey, neutral, bold, all at the same time, I love this palette. The color story, I opened it up and I was like, yes. Like, it looked beautiful on the pictures, but then when I saw it in person, I just said, yes, okay? Now, this palette retail, I want to say for $55 because, of course, we got multi-chromes and the sh single shadows. And Clarity kind of runs more on the expensive side. I also feel like because the pan sizes are so big, but they're supposed to be moving away from that in the year of 23, so we will see. But, you know, the shipping did take a long time, and I was just like, okay, this is not a pre-order what is happening and I feel like in general Clarity does take a long time to ship their products out so sometimes that can be a tiny bit frustrating you know um, Clarity Cosmetics is actually an African-American owned brand it's only about four people I think that she has on staff so I was like okay I give grace you know four people on staff there are in also in a smaller town in Texas and she did push post a shipping update on the Instagram and I think we got an email as well that you know they were working on shipping out the pallets they had thousands and thousands of orders for Black Friday because a lot of their other products were like deeply discounted which is wonderful we want you to have lots and lots of sales you know we definitely want you to have sales so you can stay in business but at the same time from a consumer it's like but I want my products. So this palette actually did not show up until maybe two, three days prior to Christmas. And like I said, it was a Black Friday purchase. So that was a substantial wait time for something that was not a pre-order. But they also said the problem was that, that their local post office, and like I said, they're in a small town and uh, out two hours away from Houston, Texas, that their small post office could not also keep up with the amount of orders. So even if the orders were ready they just couldn't even pick them up all of that because they are also short staffed and like I said it's a smaller post office and I think at one point they were also contemplating to just make the two hour drive over to Houston so that everybody can get their pallets so that is the story on that so in this palette we have some beautiful multi-chrome shades we have some beautiful shimmers and I just love the murky taupey mattes the taupey gray brown mattes you know mattes like this are just kind of like gray mats, things like that. I say it all the time. They're just kind of like, you know, my friend that, you know, I don't see a lot, but then when I see them, it's like we never miss a beat. That's how I feel about this. And this is just a gorgeous color story. So uh, true to Clarity Cosmetics Fashion, you do have a unicarton that matches the palette exactly. On the back, you do have actually the ingredients of the palette. This is a pressed pigment palette. It's coming in at 3.5 grams or 0.12 ounces per pan, okay? And that's the product. Um, and also, this brand is vegan and cruelty-free. The palette is good for 12 months if you keep it in a cool, dry area. And the packaging looks like it is. It does not have the recyclable um on there so I do wonder and if just if you're wondering what city uh Clarity Cosmetics is out of it's out of Port Arthur Texas okay so let's go ahead I got three looks for you um the palette is actually coming back for a pre-order if you did not get your hands on it I just kind of checked the website it says sold out but the pre-order is going to be shipping at the start shipping around February 4th so 
maybe you can still get your hands on it. It's also the Apocalypse palette that is going to be included with the pre-order because so many people could not get their hands on this particular palette during Black Friday. Like this was the only thing I bought for Black Friday. Yeah, like literally the only thing I bought. So <laughs> I was definitely making sure I was gonna get this palette. And once again, in true fashion, I have three looks. You might hear a tiny bit of construction noise because you know my house was taken over by the broken pipe and the water just coming out the wall. So I mean, I here fixing the drywall, but should be okay. It's not too much noise, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's jump into the video. Jumping into look number one, eyebrows are filled in, of course, using my Goof Proof Pencil, shade 3.75. This is by Benefit Cosmetics. And we're using a new primer. It's called Contemplative State. And this is by MAC Cosmetics. And it's actually a pro, uh, pro longer paint pot, okay? If you hear the construction, I'm sorry. Let's jump in. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Always getting praised like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do about it?
All right, I am back and here are the first two looks and oh my gosh, just so pretty. Every time I use this palette, I'm like, yes, yes, and yes. So let me go ahead and talk about my face details real quick. So I went in with my House Labs foundation. I've really been enjoying this foundation. It's in the shade 400 Medium Deep Warm. And then I paired it with my Rare Beauty Concealer, which is right here. And this is the shade 420 Neutral. And of course, I went in with my Minta Cosmetics bronzer in the shade BK. And <laughs> you know, we'll see how much longer it takes to finish her up. It coupled along with my Paradise Glow Blush from Pat McGrath. And this is the duo that came out. And then, real pretty, I hadn't actually used this combination or used this lipstick. I was used, looking for like my limitless. Limitless Lipstick by Propa Beauty. But I went ahead and I paired my Cola Lip Liner from Juvia's Place. And I'm actually like almost out of it. Like, okay. And I went ahead and used the Soil Lipstick. And I think this came out with the new collection or either maybe the Coffee Shop collection. Look at the design on this lipstick. It is so much fun. Really pretty orange color. You know, I'm all about that. And then in the waterline, I just decided to go in with this green eyeliner to just kind of make it set off. And lashes are the Ardell Wispies. So these, these are actually Demi Wispies, yes. So, so in love. Didn't have a problem blending out anything. I do wish that one or the two of the shades were just a little bit more punchier, but I love how grungy it looks. It looks really shiny. The sh shimmer shades went on so well. I only used the mixing medium with this shade right here, just so it could stick really well in the inner corner, only because that shade is a little bit more flakier. But let's see, uh, Death Roll, oh my gosh. Like I went in with my finger and I just still had so much shadow. That shadow was just going on for days and days. And even I had to wipe some off of my brush. So I think with that shadow, you only need a little bit. Like I said, I just went in with my finger and then just took the brush to uh, even it out and place it in the areas that I wanted to. Uh, all of the mattes perform really beautiful. I just wish that maybe, um, well, one of this shade maybe was just a tiny bit more pigmented. It did seem to maybe just skip in there, and it could be the primer or it could be the brush that I was using because it was actually pretty dark out here on the uh, outer corner. And then I love pairing these two together, that green with the pewter, and then popping this over. It just gave it a little something extra special, a little extra dimension. I'm in love. I love how both of these looks turned out. So, of course, you know, we got to go ahead and jump in with look number three. So, as beautiful as this is, I'm going to wipe it off and I'll be back in just a second. I'm not sure what's happening here. The I don't know if it's the primer. Sometimes shadow doesn't stick right in here where I have these folds, but I've used this palette so many times now, so I'm really surprised. So I'm going to try to, I don't know. Let me see. Maybe I can put a tiny bit more primer down because I'm like, it's just, it's not sticking at all. Like on both sides and I don't know if it's because I've done like multiple looks and sometimes my eyes just be like ma'am you know but it's like literally right there so let's see we savage the look but I'm really surprised because like I said I've, I've been using this palette ever since I received it and I'm just gonna take like a real techniques brush that I used to win out the I don't know. Maybe it wasn't even a primer there. I, I don't know. I mean, stranger things have happened. This is not the first time this has happened to me. 
just blend it over a little bit because it's like it's hanging on here I know I had to lay down extra primer there okay let's see how it works now gonna go back in with that same brush that I've been using for my outer V which is the 203 and I'm gonna go back in with a uh, Swamp Thing which was this shade the deepest shade Okay, so far we're doing better. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it wasn't any primer there. <laughs> I don't know. Because I was just like, it's not sticky. What is happening? Oh yeah. <laughs> maybe. Maybe that's what it was. And then I went to blend and of course it was just like, and I'm gone. Now this one my eye is watering right there. That's because, like I said, I just Sometimes when I get to the third look, even though I'm really gentle when I take off my shadow. It doesn't always stick. Okay, now I'm gonna take like a smaller blending brush and you know, like just fuse this out. It's looking, ooh. <laughs> Cause I put primer down and it's okay this side looks so much better <laughs> even though this is the side that's tearing up eek, eek, eek. this is not looking good at all I guess more primer sometimes this happens guys let's see a little, a little bit more Ugh, Jesus giving hot mess that's what that's what it's giving right now hot mess like if I didn't know any better it would look like I didn't even prime my eyelid I don't know I don't know I'm liking this MAC paint pot but I definitely I think I prefer my Urban Decay primer potion a lot mm -hmm. better I might pick up the shade Eden because when even when I was in Ulta, they didn't even have Eden in stock. Well, at that particular Ulta, so I don't know. But you guys know I stopped using the Urban Decay Primer Potion because I couldn't freaking find it. Salvage this look. Okay, it's definitely sticking better now. Now up the primer there. And I got this harsh line, probably from me taking the makeup wipe that I'm about to do again. I'm like, that doesn't even go. What is happening here? Just gonna clean it up. Kinda like pat it dry. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> go back in with my original brush which is this is like a Sephora brush and this brush actually has been packing on this lighter color better because um before I guess the other brush I was using which was like a Wayne Goss 16 it was just blowing it out too much so you wouldn't get a good diffusion of the shadow boy I'm just gonna kind of fuse that back in. Y'all know I am particular about the blend of my shadows, okay? I do not like no mess. I do not like no patchiness. That's the only thing, like I feel like the, the mattes from Clarity have come a long way, but they are not, they are still a little powdery for my taste. Um, and just because they're powdery, you have to be careful because I guess they can get a little, little patchy, yeah. And now I'm just going to take this other brush and then just going to go back here because the other one is just too fluffy. This is me all the time. I'm always fixing stuff. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. That looks a lot better. Because y'all saw it was looking a mess. So this is what we're looking like right now. Okay. So now let's see. I'm going to lay a shimmer down. What was my plan? Let's see. Is that the... 
like probably trying to do a reverse tier situation and tear the look up. Okay, what was my plan? Oh, okay, I'm gonna lay down some glitter glue because my plan was, my plan is to do this and then pop a little this over it. Yes. So, NYX glitter glue. Y'all, look what just happened to the top of my NYX glitter glue. I got ready to <laughs> twist the top off. Like, I knew the top was broken because the, the glitter glue was popping out the side. Just take this dirty ass brush. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse my French. Lordy. So, just gonna like. Do I have a backup of this? I don't even think I have a backup of this. Do I? No, I don't know. And the thing about it is, I use my glitter glue like a lot. Because it just helps shadows like this just become a little bit more opulent, stay on the eyes longer. You know, I mean, it's a whole lot of glitter glue in here. Okay, we're gonna go in with Snapple. Right here. Look how beautiful the shade is. Look how it gives blue brown, but it doesn't give blue brown. It also gives the shade that I broke in my sorcery palette by Lisa Eldridge. So yeah, the, the prettiest shade in that palette broke. Because you know I'm filming in my kitchen now and because of what happened with the pipe breaking right before Christmas Eve. And so, yeah. Hmm, so pretty. I love this shade. I love it. I love it so. Let's see, I'm gonna pop in with a flat definer brush. Ooh, that is pretty. That's really pretty. Now I want to, I don't think I want to put glitter glue over the glitter glue. I think it's going to make it too thick. But I'm going to take my Mayron Mixing Medium and I'm going to take Crocodile Tears, which is our sparkly shade right here that sheds like gold and silver at the same time and I'm going to just pick it up on my finger and I'll wet my finger with the Mayron. So this is what it looks like on my finger. I got a little extra on my nail. Doo, doo, doo. I promise you I'm really not messy when I film but <laughs> Some days it just seems like, wow, it's, it's just a lot going on here, okay? Okay, I got, I spritz my finger. I'm gonna let it kind of like dry down for a second just because it's May Rod Mixing Medium and if, when it's really wet, it kind of liquefies the shadow. So I'm just like waving it back and forth. Mmm. Oh, wow, that's pretty. It really wasn't the effect I was going for, but I'm happy with it because I thought it was going to be more like a twinkle type of situation, but I'm here for it. It's really pretty. And this is what it looks like on my finger after I've like kind of patted that shade in. Now I'm just like wiping my finger off on my makeup towel. I'm gonna go back in with that flat line finer brush. Go back in with Snapper, which was our original green shade. I'm just gonna touch it up in those areas where we kind of might have disrupted the shadow just a tiny bit. And let's see. Ooh. Ooh. I'm happy I did it like this. This is a new look. Mmm. Mmm. This palette is freaking gorgeous. And you know what? I might be a tiny bit extra, but I'm going to go ahead and take Death Roll, which is like our green apple type of shade. Just with a little flat definer so it doesn't get out of control. 
infuse it in because it just like adds a little extra dimension. Mmm, yep, because it's, now it's just like, ooh. And it just kind of pops to other colors. I'm just going to kind of mix it in with Snapper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here for this. All right, so I'm going to finish the other eye. This eye feels like it's trying to cut up on me, and I'm going to put my lashes on. It's going to be the same Ardell wispy, at, like, like, little, little wispy lashes, but... Uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. Okay, so I'll be back in just a moment. All right, I am back. This is the third and final look, really beautiful. My eye over here is giving me a shelf life, so I'm gonna go through this quickly because I'm getting that little reverse tear thing and shadow is trying to come off. Yeah. <laughs> so everything is the same as before as far as all the face details, but I did forget to mention my highlight, which is actually the House Labs highlight right here. And this is the shade Fire Opal. Oh, it's so pretty. So that's what I have here on my cheeks. And yeah, so this look is gorgeous i love the way it came out and i really like this palette okay this palette has wowed me i have not gotten tired playing with this palette and i have done i think i've used the palette maybe four or five times off camera um i actually did one of my looks for the um how many in 2020 i did this it was like a whole little pewter situation. You couldn't even tell any green and maybe a little bit of this, which appeared silver. So this shade is the only flaky shade. Um, I'm okay with it being flaky because it does give that extra little sparkle, as you can see here. I love how this shade just kind of flips gold and it flips green, gold and silver at the same time. Everything just pairs so well together. I would say as far as the mattes, they perform pretty well. They are just a little touch powdery, but as far as clarity, these, I think these are the best mattes that we've had out of the bunch. They pull, this one pulls really deep. So does this one. You get some good depth out of here. The green is beautiful as well. It can stand alone or it can mix in nicely with the brown and the pewter shades. This shade, I feel like it's just probably the lightest. I wish it was just a little bit punchier, but depending on the brush that you use, you'll get better pigmentation. This particular brush from Sephora is a little bit more tightly packed, so I got better pigmentation. And I just kind of stamped it in versus using like my Wayne Goss number 16 where it's a definitely more fluffier brush. Now, as you can see, I had some issues <laughs> just trying to put the shadows on, but they are hanging on here. So I at least need to believe that was probably I didn't prime my eyes very well or maybe they were a little sensitive and I wasn't aware prior to starting this look. And I, I don't know. I like my, uh, ooh, like don't drop it, girl. Almost dropped it. So I like like this primer but I think that the Urban Decay primer potion it just sits better it's I feel like this one is a tiny bit more emollient and sometimes depending if my eyes are kind of trying to water and they usually kind of water up it can be disastrous because as you can see I was like okay the shadow's not laying down but you know sometimes you just have to lay the primer back on and just try again so that's all very much a real experience but if that happened on the first look i would have been like but since i've been playing with this palette a lot prior to filming this video i was like okay no this is probably something going on with my base because i haven't had an issue and i've been really thoroughly enjoying this palette i feel like this is my favorite palette that they have done you know it's like just the most perfect neutral green grungy palette out there it is so stunning the shimmers are just gorgeous you kind of have like that standard like goldy green in there that still just sits so well with these other mattes this shade this shade and this shade it's like 
Mm, so yummy just really really pretty this shade is stunning it's just like layering it over or by itself and same one here and I just like I said I love how it transitions from like silver to gold depending on what you put it on with and I just feel like they just did a standout job with this palette so if you wanted this palette it is on pre-order I think now I'm gonna check the clarity site but you need to just go ahead and get it if you were thinking about it because I think they just brought it back because that in apocalypse so many people have been having trouble like getting their hands on it and their palettes are a little bit more expensive. You do get like the multi-chromes and I feel like the palettes are also just a little bit more expensive because they have such big pan sizes. But supposedly in 23, all of that is supposed to be calming down. So hopefully that will be the case and maybe they can bring it to us at like, you know, a smaller price point. Okay, so let's see. I don't know. They say sold out on the website. But I know it says it starts shipping maybe. But then it lets me add it to the cart. So, no. Maybe not. Interesting. I don't really know. So I don't know if the pre-order phase is up, but... Hmm. It's interesting to know. Okay, so hopefully you can still get your hands on it, but this palette is fabulous, and definitely this is providing the look inspiration if you have your hands on this palette. So let me know what is your favorite look. I really love this look, and then I really love, let's see, I love all of them. Dang. I don't know. Y'all pick for me. Let me know down below in the comments. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, which will be soon. And subscribe to my channel because, you know, I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And we are growing. Thank you. So I'm going to claim it by the time that this video goes up that we will be at 5K because right now when I'm filming this, we're about like 11 subscribers away. Oh, my gosh. So hopefully by the time the video goes up, we will be at 5K. Yes. So... With all of that being said, you already know how we got to end the video around here. We got to hit it with the chin dance, chin dance, ay, 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 chin dance, mm, mm, chin dance, mm, 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 chin dance, ay. All right, y'all. I'm done. I think. Maybe not. All right, y'all. <laughs> Bye.